Yes, we have indeed managed to find some wildebeest. And uh, there are the wildebeest. There are some zebra there. We have to topi lecking on a termite mound. So those are probably bulls that are demonstrating for ladies, and those ladies there will then make their choice depending on who stands in the most impressive fashion. Alternatively, they could just be looking for lions, but I think that is a part of their lecking behaviour. They're very peaceful lecking, though. It's not particularly exuberant displays. How often do you use the word exuberant when your da daily talk, David? Mm, not, very often. not very often. No. It is quite a nice grouping, though, isn't it? Despite its lack of exuberance. <laughs> so these, everybody... Uh, now, I mean, there's some facts, of course, that we give almost universally when we see certain creatures. And uh, that's normally because we don't know anything else about them. And so when I say things like, oh, there's a Cory Busted, it's the world's heaviest flying bird, um, you're allowed to slap me over the back of the head and say, tell me something, say, tell, tell me something I don't know. So when I say the same fact for the topi is, oh, everybody, there's some topi, the fastest antelope in the world. You're allowed to slap me on the back of the head and say, why don't you learn something else about them? Which I think is perfectly val valid and relevant. Now... They are a subspecies of the sesame, and the sesame. So, um, that, well, I mean, you could, might describe the sesame as a subspecies of them, I suppose. But they are found throughout eastern Africa and down into southern Africa. And in Botswana, you get the sesame, which looks slightly different from that. I'm just going to get out my book see if I don't have a very good picture of the differences between the sesame and the topi. Now I believe that there have been some black screen dips and things and I do apologize for that. Um, I will take it up with Rasputin on my return home. Uh, he'll just probably stare at me and I'll wither visibly and then head back into my own tent. So what they are is part of the genus Damaliscus Quite a nice word to say at this time of the morning, Damaliscus, which includes the Blesbok and the Bontobok, uh, which none of which we will get here, you only get them in southern Africa. And then the Topi, Tiang and Sesebi are the same species, Damaliscus lunatus, which sounds like a mad Damaliscus, which I quite like. And so the lunatic Damaliscuses uh, are the Topi, of course. Then we get the Sesebi, which you can see looks almost identical. It's just got slightly different horns. And the Tiang, I don't know if we've got a tongue on the... ...seems to be found in Ethiopia. And in fact, although they've got three there, there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven different subspecies of the Topi, Tiang, or Sesebi the lunatic Damaliscus and the nominate species, in other words the one that uh, retain, or nominate subspecies is the one that we get down in South Africa. And this one is uh, the blue one and it is called Damaliscus lunatus gemita. I don't know what that means. Right, we're going to leave those topi further before we link. We're going to go across there. You see what we have over there, David? Some elephants, exactly. But someone who has got elephants slightly closer by is Ali.